एवरीवन एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू ए कंप्लीट प्लेसमेंट सॉल्यूशन फ्रेंड्स दिस इज प्रतीक श्रीवास्तव अयर एंड इन आवर टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टीसीएस एनक्यूटी 2020 फर्स्ट स्लॉट रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चंस वेयर आस्क्ड इन द फर्स्ट स्लॉट एंड द टाइमिंग वाज 8 टू 11 एएम फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव स्टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज़ वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल द स्लॉट्स exams questions and we are the fastest channel to upload all the videos just after the examination so let us start with the question number one which was from the reasoning and this question is from the topic sitting arrangement okay and this is in the form of our data sufficiency okay five friends a b c d and e are sitting in a line facing north so north means friends so this is your north right and east south and west so if you are facing north then your right will be this side and your left will be this side okay now so a b c d are sitting in a line facing north who is sitting exactly in the middle so let us take a statement one c is sitting between a and b so c is sitting between a and b so in one possibility so a will sit here and b will sit here in another possibilities we will take b here and a here right because c is sitting between b and a so b can be on the left side a can be on the right side or a can be on the left side and b can be on the right side then e is at the fourth place to the left of b so e is to the fourth left of b so b first left second left third left and fourth left then e will sit here and who is remaining d so we will get this diagram now in the second possibility so e is at the fourth place to the left of b so first second third and fourth so e will be sitting here so if you count the number of total person 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but they are telling only five friends are there so this possibility is wrong so from the statement one alone we will be able to answer that a sits exactly uh, in the middle right so who sits exactly a now let us see option statement 2 e is sitting to the immediate left of d so e is sitting to the immediate left of d and c is to the immediate left of b so now again we will have more possibilities c is sitting to the immediate left of b first possibility then this is second possibility then a c b e d third possibilities friends will have more possibilities and we will not be able to answer this question that who is sitting in the middle so statement 2 alone we cannot get the answer so if the question can be answered by using first statement alone yes so option a will become the correct answer for us then friends question number two so it was a question from the syllogism right okay so all animals are plants so all animals okay so all animals are plants friends we have discussed all this type of questions in our free video itself and all plants are shrubs so all plants are all plants are shrubs right okay done now conclusions some shrubs are plants so yes so we can say if all plants are shrubs then we can say some shrubs are plant okay you can see all plants are shrubs so some part of shrubs will be a uh, plant and friends even study i had told you all will be some all will be converted into some if all a or b means you can say some a or b so option conclusion one is correct then some animals are not subs so all animals are serbs here we can see clearly all animals are serbs so whatever they are telling is wrong all animals are serbs yeah that is correct because it is clearly uh, you know you can see here so here answer will be conclusion 1 and 3 is true friends so we have already discussed all those things very much detail in syllogism then question number 3 so what is the wrong term in the following series so c m q c is here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So basically first and second letter there is 10 difference. F to P. So F is here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here also 10 difference is there. Then J to T. So friends this you need to keep in mind. Okay J to T. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So again 10 difference. O to Y. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So this is also 10. Then U to F. So 1. So U here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It is E. So U, F, I. So this is not following the pattern. So everywhere the difference first to second letter difference is 10. Here it is 11. So option 4 will become the correct answer. Now friends question number 4. So question number 4 is a data sufficiency problem, right? So data sufficiency, uh, they had more number of questions in the examination. How many rupees would Salini need to spend to buy 11 pencils and 14 pens? Okay, now, so we have two options. Salini has spent an amount of rupees 201 to buy 15 pencil and 12 pens. So suppose one pencil price is, one pencil price is X rupees and one pen price is y rupees okay now so 15 pencil so 15 into x and 12 pens so 12 into y and total salini paid is 201 rupees this is my equation one friends one equation two unknowns so from the one statement we can never give the answer then salini has spent 121 rupees and she got seven pencil so 7x and plus nine pens one pen is uh, y rupees price now we have two equations and two unknowns yes you can easily find out the value of x and y and then you can easily find it out okay so uh, how many rupees she need to uh, buy 11 pences and 14 pence now friends you have to be a little smart okay now there is no need of uh, calculating the values and getting the answer see as we know we have two equations and two unknowns we will be easily able to get the value of x and y so we can say if the question can be answered by using both statement together so option c you had to tick and come from the examination okay so you have to be a little smart do not, you do not have to behave like a dumb person okay now question number five so question number five friends five teachers p q r s and t teach a group of a student in a sequence 9 a.m to 2 p.m. that means one will be teaching 9 to 10 okay then one will be teaching 10 to 11 okay and then one will be teaching 11 to 12 okay so five members are there and then 12 to 1 p.m. so here a.m. p.m. you can see friends that is not a problem so understand the concept okay then 1 to 2 p.m. so that is how five people uh, five teachers are teaching five different uh, timings right Q take the first class. So Q is taking the first class. That means 9 to 10 a.m. Okay. Then, then what they are telling 9 to 10 a.m. Okay. S teaches just after the T. So S is teaching just after T. Okay. Then R, R teaches before P and T. So I will write like this. So T S. R is teaching before T and P. So definitely I will have to put P here. Then only R will teach here right or one more possibility will be there so t and s okay oh, i'm sorry so q here i will put uh, r and here i will put p t s so this is my first possibility and this is my second possibility right see it should not violate the given statement so s is teaching just after the t correct okay so s is teaching just after the t correct right see s teaches just after the t and then R teaches before P and T. So R is here. It is teaching before P and T, right? So R is teaching before P and T, right? Okay. So two possibilities are there. But anyway, in this case, it is very, very easy. Who takes the second class from 10 to 11? So 9 to 10 and 10 to 11, R will be taking. So that is very, very easy. Option D will be the correct answer for the question number five. Oh, friends question number six so in each of the five letters of the letter cluster the letters in the second term is arranged transformed form of the letters in the first term in a particular pattern which two pairs has the transformation in same way now friends this particular question so when i was uh, you know writing down the question there was some cut here so it might not be uh, the same question what was there in the exam so please try to uh, you know understand the concept because many of the students so you know they will be just mocking it but how much effort we are putting friends getting the questions typing it here okay and then trying to solve it so we are doing it in very much hurry so just try to uh, understand appreciate the, the effort which we are putting for you guys and this kind of similar questions you will be also going to hit in the examination so friends there are some transformation has been done you need to find it out which two has the same kind of transformation so let us take option a so option a m a s o n so a and m 
has been interchanged okay so a m n o s and then we can see n and o has been interchanged and s has come to the end okay then and then friends we will go for c and then we will see other one fault f a u l t and then we can see a f t l u so a and f has been interchanged t has come here and l t and l has been interchanged and u at the end so friends we could see a and c right a and c has a similar kind of transformation right okay now b if you'll see if the similar kind of transformation is there or not so p and a has been interchanged and then you can see r is there itself right and t and y has been interchanged so this is what your b and then d so d if you'll see totally different kind of uh, arrangement is there so d o l e z so middle term has come here okay and then if you'll see e cargo okay and then a c o g s so friends a and c is interchanged okay and then g and o is also interchanged but here you can see uh, this uh, r has been changed to s so this all three there is no common thing in between them right but there are only two a and c which has some same kind of transformation same kind of uh, similarity right so our answer will become a and c has same kind of similarity right so friends this is the kind of uh, questions which had come in the first lot of the examination and definitely it is going to help you a lot in your examination friends uh, once again all the best and share the video with your friends uh, so that you they will be also able to utilize it and you will be also able to understand the pattern thank you